Thanks, Milton. Enjoy your other sandwich. What can you tell me about Fishmouth? Well, I don't know how you made it in, but the sooner your non-local hides is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order... The order? Mm, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. Yeah, that's what I hear. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. A Fishmuthian citizen, really intent on reading that newspaper. Handsome fella. I don't want to involve her. Gliding down through the dark green water. Yeah? <laughs> he can breathe underwater because he has amphibious nostrils. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> On the way down, he passed hundreds of trout of different sizes. <laughs> Trout are fresh water fish and have underwater weapons. Um, I mean, what? Trout are very valuable and immensely powerful. They are? Keep away from the trout! Uh, okay, that's a promise. It puddles. It's what it does. Oily and puddly. Nah, she's a neat freak. Can't think of any use for it. Well, we found the Finman house, all right. Charming place. They're going for the crumbling ruin look. Interesting niche. Wouldn't necessarily spend the night here, to be honest. I don't like this place one bit. It reeks of dead... Fish? Not just fish. Mm -hmm. I don't like this... Fish? Not... Mm -hmm. One solitary lit window. Wonder who's in there. Intriguing. Could that be Olmstein's room? I wouldn't have her climb that high. Can't reach it. Gotta enter the hotel first. She looks really, um, not happy. Not really looking like she's excessively friendly. She's just as mean as you are, Cat. Uh, police! Hi there! You staying at the Finmans tonight? I... I might be. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, what did you mean by good luck? It's no fun if I tell you. You're going to find out yourself soon enough. <laughs> Is there something about the Finman house you're not telling me? You got the wrong person, stranger. Tourist info's over that way. Not a lot of help from there, I'm afraid. Help? Oh, you don't need that. Yet. <laughs> 
I don't think I want to talk to her anymore. It seems like it's always 10 o'clock in this hotel. It looks strangely familiar. Tick tock. She doesn't care for it. I don't think this one opens. Complimentary coffee. Black as midnight on a moonless night. How thoughtful of Mr. Finman. Damn good coffee, Diane. I don't think we want to find out what that would do. Nothing to pour it in. Looks like he's the strong, silent type. Must be some vow of silence deal or something. Ominous. I am completely uninterested. Okay then. Those are the room keys and they're all present but one. That one missing key has got to be the one to Olmstein's room. She's not interested. The one key I'm interested in is the one that's missing. That there must be the namesake of this hotel. Rough looking fella. Kinda gives me the chills to be honest. No, I have to handle this. Hello there. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Finman, I presume? That's me, yeah. Nice hotel you've got here. Nice. Ain't nothing nice about it. We don't do nice in Fishmouth. There anything I can do for you, stranger? What a great evening in Fishmouth, isn't it, sir? Evening? Yeah, I suppose it is evening. Mm. I don't know what you find so great about it, though. You know, the salty, sea-scented breeze, the smell of rotting fish, the, the distant thunder... Charming! <clears throat> I'd like a room, please. I'd love to help you out, sir. We's all completely booked up. Really? I only see one key missing on that wall behind you. Ain't you been snooping around? Got a bunch of pilgrims coming over for the festival soon. That one standing there is the first of the bunch. Book the whole place they did. Don't bother wasting your breath on him. He ain't talking nothing. You ain't from Fishmouth, is ya? I can smell it all over you. Why you come here? You're a direct man, aren't you, Mr. Finman? <clears throat> yeah, and I've been known to judge a man. He was nosy. And skinny. Too skinny. Well, that was judgmental. Yes, well, think nothing of it. I just got this hunger up in me. Ain't eaten nothing in a while. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We fish... <laughs> yeah. Fishmouth folk. It's... Fishman's business. We got our own to look up to. Don't need your funny smelling outsiders telling us what to do and who to listen to. 
I might just hang around and check it out if it's happening soon. That's not to be advised, Skinny. The Order don't take kindly to strangers. Does anyone take kindly to anyone around here? Our own outsider. You don't like it, you can skedaddle on out of here. The Order? What Order? Nah, never you mind them. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here. Might as well learn a thing or two about Fishmouth. The only thing you need to know about that there esoteric order is that they don't want you here. So you best be on your way. That's all I can tell you. I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> I think I'd feed him something different, though. Better talk to him first. So, about that room... We's all booked. See that pilgrim? Him and his kind done booked up every single room except the one. About to arrive any minute now. Otherwise, I love to serve you. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but did that really warrant such a laugh? Ah, uh, think nothing of it, stranger. It's the hunger, you see. My stomach's growling is all. Makes me say all kind of things. Pay no mind. Oh, so the occupied room is the spill rooms? No, it's someone else staying there. Can you tell me what his name is? Here at Finman House, we value our customers' privacy. Uh-huh. Can I interest you in this cookie I've got here? I'm a... I'm a meat man myself, but... Right now, I could eat just about anything, I reckon. If it ain't meat, though, I got to wash it down some, and... I ain't got anything. Mm. You mean, like, alcohol, right? You was pretty smart for a stranger. How come you don't have any alcohol around? Been no need. We've been having plenty of meat around here. Till it stopped coming, that is. Be arriving for the festival soon, though. Ain't that right, Pilgrim? Them... Them brothers of yours arriving soon, eh? <laughs> I don't get it. Are the Pilgrims bringing you meat? Oh, yeah, 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 you could say that. You could definitely say that. <laughs> That's one exceptionally jovial innkeep. All meat, huh? Got any preferences or anything goes? Oh, I got my preferences. <laughs> Sorry, Skinny. Don't be judging me. Look at yourself, all oh, skin and bone. Nothing on you worth mentioning. Uh, what? What'd you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> anyway... Has, uh, the guy in the room brought you any meat? What, you fancy yourself some kind of detective or something outsider? What's with all them questions now? I'm just curious by nature. <laughs> Too curious, you ask me. No place for your kind here, outsider. Just wondering how come your one customer hasn't provided you with any meat, that's all. He's a stranger in that one. He ain't nothing like our usual customers. Pays damn well, too. Gold, stranger, gold. We as likes our gold up in here. I'm here to see this gentleman. He ain't come down in a while. I don't reckon he will anytime soon. I wouldn't wait if I were you, stranger. You know, getting constantly called a stranger and an outsider tends to be a little grating after a while. Have you considered that? We don't take... Kindly. Gotcha. <sighs> I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs>
<laughs> Doesn't look like a cookie enthusiast. No need, I know what it is. Why would they just let it rot in there? Surely people prefer it fresh, right? What do they do with all this stinking fish? Who buys this stuff? Ooh, I have my standards, thank you. My stomach turns just at the thought of it. A rotting basket full of putrid fish. Or the other way around. Leaving these poor things out to rot must cater to some depraved, exotic tastes. Ew. Ew. Fish, I'm not a fan of. Badly decayed ones, even. A strangely shaped reef. Almost an island, really. There's really no way around it. It looks like a pair of horns surfacing from below. Makes for a striking sunset scene, I must admit. She's not going anywhere. No, thank you. A rusty, creaking fishing boat that's seen better days. Deep one. Should have been a sub. It looks like it's barely staying afloat. Much like most stuff around here. The rats have long abandoned that ship. Not if you paid me. A strangely shaped reef. Almost an island, really. There's really no way around it. it. Makes for a striking... She's not... It's an old drunk sailor chilling in that rope coil. Man, one day I'll grow a beard just like his. Sick calves, bro. Nah, I don't want to get her involved. Hi there, Gramps. What you? Get, get lost, youngin. My name's Buzz. Nice to meet you. Get on out of here. Fish, fish ain't no place for you, boy. Well, at least you fish muthians are consistent about that. What a great evening to be alive, isn't it? You think I'm crazy, don't you? Where'd you get that idea? <sighs> old Zadok knows. You should not be drinking that, old timer. Who, who, who are you to tell old Zadok what to do, sonny? Go, get... You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I really don't. I hate to come across as judgmental, but do you really want to spend your twilight years in an alcohol-induced stupor? It is not a choice, sonny boy. If you'd have seen what these old eyes have seen, I tell you. Tell me. Uh, nah. Rather drink, boy. Whiskey makes one forget. Really need that drink, huh? <sighs> I... I'm willing to do you a world of good and take that cursed whiskey off of your hands. Have you considered a healthier alternative? What you babbling about there, boy? How about coffee? 
I never touched the stuff. Never even smelled it. You've never smelled coffee? Not in my life, boy. My mama, rest us all, she tried to get my peppy to drink it. Lay off the old hooch. But my peppy wasn't having any of it. Tis evil, Atul. It's the devil's drink. Then he dunk another whiskey. <laughs> Lord rest. That's a story to remember, Gramps. I gotta run. Run, boy. Never return. Looks like the oldest ship anchored in Fishmouth Harbor. If only you could tell its tales. Oh man, people actually braved the sea aboard these wooden coffins. Crazy. Man, I'm glad I'm not a sailor. She's not going and It's fascinating, but not worth diving in the murky waters and later dying from God knows what fascinating. What is it about sailing that turns people to alcohol? How'd he get up on that stool anyway? And why? I want nothing to do with... that. Avast, ye landlubber! Avast to you too, kind sir! What can ye do with a Fishmouth sailor? What indeed? Ahoy, matey! Blow the man down! This guy's a dedicated spouter of seafaring cliches. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! That would explain his death. Shiver me timbers! What does that even mean? Avast, ye landlubber! Avast to you! Ooh, an actual sea captain in the flesh. She even smells like one. She's really into what she's reading over there. Nah, no need to involve Kid A. Ahoy! That's your ship over there? She ain't going nowhere anytime soon, lubber. <laughs> Frankly, I'm flattered you'd call me that, but I don't think we've met before. Leave your bilge, rat. Oh, okay, understood. Bye. How about tea? Nothing like a warm cup of tea to relax you and get you in the mood for a chat. I can't stand that stuff. I've been a fisherman all my life, boy. It was just water, 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 all the time. I ain't putting that water down concoction in me, no sir. Kinda got a point there. How about soda? Soda? <laughs> Why that sugar water, son? <laughs> Health your alternative, my salty behind. Can't argue with that. How about orange juice? <laughs> Ain't no oranges in Fishmouth, sonny boy. You's more likely to squeeze juice out of a calamari. And you don't want to taste that, Trussell Zadok. I'll take your word for it. So you never tasted or smelled coffee in your life? Not in my life, son. Couldn't tell it apart from gasoline. It's a... Um, it's a question of pinsum. Uh, prin... <coughs> principle. I gotta run. Run, boy. Never return.